how to remove personal information from Google search. Option 1. Recently Google has been making new tools available for us to get content removed by Google. In this option 1 video session, I'm going to show you the web search results option. Let's imagine you search for your name and a particular website published your name or other personal information such as your address, phone number or anything else related to you. From web search results, what you can do now is press on the three dots here. Let's do that. Let's imagine this was the website that had my content and I want that removed. So let's press on the three dots. As we can see, now we have an option for remove result. Here, let's press on it. And now Google is asking us, okay, why in the world do you want that result removed? Obviously, it's related to ourselves. In this example, it's our name. Here it says, show my, it shows my personal contact information. If that was the case, then you would simply press on the triangle icon here. Let's do that. And then continue your removal request. It is as simple as that. But let's imagine it showed other personal information. Perhaps your bank account details or an image. If that's the case, then you would select it shows other personal info option. Let's do that. And now let's press on the triangle icon if that was the case. Let's do that. Now Google has taken us somewhere else. Now, why is this important to explore the different options available for removing this result? It's because certain Google products and its policies differ. That means web search results is a product. YouTube is owned by Google. It has different policies. Let's imagine Google Drive that may have your personal information. Perhaps someone published a PDF about you and made it available on Google Drive publicly. If that's the case, then you want to explore the policies for Google Drive in that example. Okay. So then Let's imagine it was a personal image from Google search results. Let's press on that to see what happens. As we can see, now we can start removal request accordingly. Let's press on start removal request. And here we can select content contains your personal information. Select the country of residence and press next then simply follow through let's imagine your address phone number or email if the information contained that then you would select that or something else okay let's imagine phone number then you would provide your phone number and let's imagine okay i'll put that in there is there malicious or threatening intent expressly expressed directly in the content on the URL or domain, let's say no. Content information, okay. What that means is Google now wants you to provide the link to that detail, as in to the web address. Let's imagine you had information coming from two different websites. If that's the case, you would simply grab the domain of a different URL. And then you can take screenshots. Obviously, that's going to help your removal request. And it's just a matter of, let's imagine, copy this. Or you can say share, you can press that. You can copy the link from here. Okay, for that example, we need to copy the result itself. 
and provide the URL to the Google search results. That means when the Google sport team presses that link, it will take it will take them to this particular result set. Okay. Search terms, obviously in our example, it's our name, example. And then we press next to submit our removal request. This is option one to get our personal information removed from Google search results. The other options will be available on Rank Your YouTube channel as well as Rankia website. I thank you for learning with Rankia and I'll talk with you in the next video session.